Okay guys, there's not much here, but oh, this, does this dead end? Mm. But I wanted to come in here and check this out. We've been past here. Just a bunch of roads that lead to nowhere. I find it a little bizarre, I guess you could say. A little weird. I don't know if it used to be a, or if it was going to be like a housing development or what. But it kind of dead ends here, but... So I don't know what this is all about. It just the way it's laid out. My drone don't work anymore, so I can't put you up in there, but it's just like a bunch of these streets. They all have street names and stop signs. But there's no houses or nothing. So I don't know if it was going to be a housing development or what. So just thought we'd share this with you. But yeah, there's Urbana. That's where I got my suburban tattoo in Urbana, Ohio. Parker Loop LP. There's, yeah. See, it's just like there's all these roads. They lead nowhere. It's really weird. What? What are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> She's looking at me really weird. So I just thought I'd come back in here and kind of show this to you. These roads were were paved roads at one time. They were blacktop. Still some blacktop left here. It's been here a very, very long time. Okay, but do you know anything about it? No, I'm sure it was um, uh, probably housing development. Um, never... The name of it is the same name that they have a development up in Donellan. So we're not far from Dunellen, so we're, um, I would think that they probably own it. This is Quarry Drive. And it's probably never been developed. It's just sitting here. It's been here a long, long time. But I wonder why it was never developed. Well, probably recession, I would think, because this was here before the, re well, was it? Yeah, this area is it just starting to build up in here. It's it's been a very slow process. Let's go up uh, riddle so, riddle way. The only reason I know this is because I had patients in here, even though I wasn't living over this way. See, there's a lot that's for sale right here. You could probably get a piece of this pretty cheap. Probably. Yeah. It's set up. That's what we can do. We can buy this. Make a campground. Buy a bunch of these lots, yes. Make a campground. Put a campground out here. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you can, I'm sure everything's set up where yeah, you could probably. There's a cul de sac right there. Yeah, there's a cul de sac right here. Yeah. So, I'm sure, you know, you could get power ran up here if you wanted to. may look into this. Maybe we'll buy a little lot out here. Put up a little camper. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing out here, but still, no. still, you get out, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a hole, so that's yeah, probably a lot. Yeah, I've been seeing a couple of these green holes here. Yeah, they're probably lots, right, would they be? Probably. Yeah. I just wanted to come in here and share this with you guys. I know it's really nothing to see, but it's kind of, when you get back in here, it's it's like really strange. It's like, where, you know, where is everything? See, there's the main road yeah, right out there. We'll go this way. Okay. So you never know what we'll run into. Yeah, see, there's another one of green posts. So, yeah, I don't know if that sign says for sale by owner. Mm-hmm. 
Well, maybe somebody bought it and then they went bankrupt or it. You know, you don't know with the recession and stuff that a lot of things went crazy. So maybe, you know, they're I stuck mean, with a piece of land and didn't you know, there was the a house on it or whatever. There, yeah, there's a lot, but see, there's another for sale sign right there. Mm -hmm. There's a. Um, there's another for sale sign up that way. Yeah, so they are trying to sell these lots still, but nobody's buying. But I mean, there's a lot of money just in what this blacktop, you know, that mm -hmm. when it was put down, I mean, that's expensive. There's you know, an there's, there's a. So there's that means if there's right an address, there. that means somebody has that lot. Yeah, there's all yeah. these lots that different people own, but how come it was never developed? I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, they bought a lot and never built, you know? Yeah. Well, a lot of people, remember up north, they would buy lots in Florida, and they would find out that they can't build on them. A lot of people got stuck that way. I had a girlfriend, and her father bought, bought land in, um, oh, I think it was Port Orange, and we went to school together. and. He found out when they came down to Florida to build a house on it, it was swampland and they couldn't build on it. Oh well, yeah, but this yeah. is not swampland. No, land, this is it? not swampland. But they, they, a lot of people got There's into that. Retention oh. pond right there. Yeah. What we call them, the retention pond. Look, there's all kinds of streets here. Yeah, it's just, I don't know how far back this goes or anything. I mean, it's just Probably. a weird feeling out here. Probably goes up into Denelin. It probably goes pretty far. This is pretty big. It's a lot bigger than you realize. Yeah, that's why I wish I had a good working drone. Put it up in the air about 500 feet. Yeah. And you know. You could see it. But there's nothing built here, even started to build, you know. It's just these roads and then, mm -hmm. you know, then nothing. Yeah. I have to Google this and find out what what the deal is. There on could it. be a story on it. You never know. Yeah, but I mean, those lots are for sale, so I mean, somebody owns them. Mm-hmm. Well, it could be cool to have a lot back here in, in these trees. See, there's a little road cut through there. You know, get back in these trees and set up a little camper or something. You know. But yeah, this is really weird, man. Yeah, we just had to, we got out of another chiropractor. That'll be four this week. That's a chiropractor, she's the doctor. Well, okay, but yeah. Now we had to see the doctor today. Okay, but yeah, so that'll be four things this week because we got to yeah. go to the chiropractor tomorrow. We'll go again tomorrow. Three days a week, it's kind of hindering me on making money on selling, you know. Yeah, we haven't so. been able to sell. This is called Gamewell. We're on land fair. Oh, Century 21 got something over there. Okay. So. Let's go up there. Oh, a couple of them here. Um, there's Century 21. So, yeah, people own these lots and they're trying to sell them. So, I don't know if you can't build. I'll Google it and, and let you know what we find out. I mean, this is not even cleared out from here. Yeah. Well, over there it was clear, but this this back in here is not cleared out. Mm -hmm. These roads aren't used a whole lot. I mean, they don't go anywhere. And some people got good deals on these lots, and they just resell them a lot of the times. There's one house back there. Yeah. And that looks lived in, so somebody's built a house. I'll do some research on this and I'll let you know at the end of the video. Is that place for sale? Oh yeah. See there's it's the house. There. But is this a different lot or is that the same lot? You know? This is more paved over here though. 
Yeah. So. Yeah, this is a realty here. This is a lot different lot right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a corner a lot. lot. Yeah, the house is not for sale. Oh, there's houses on this. Main there's the house. Here. Yeah, there's some houses here. But see, it goes way back in there, too. Nothing back in there but trees yeah. and air. So somebody's bought a lot and built. A few of them. Yeah, so, I mean, I just, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna shut you off, and if I find anything interesting, I'll turn you back on. If not, when I do my outro, I will have already Googled this and find out some more information for you guys. So hang tight. Hey, Moo, there you are. Dean Moo. <laughs> so this development is called Citrus Springs. We just come out of there. There's more on that side over there. This is Citrus Springs. And that's where we come out of over there with Citrus Springs. And um, so I'm not sure why there's houses and stuff over on that side, but why there's not on this side, I don't know. So we're going to look into it. We're going to let you know what we find out. Hi right, guys. We're back home now. I found out about that Citrus Springs. And yes, it's a community. You can buy property there. Anywhere from $30,000 on up. I seen a 10 acre. 10 acres for $130,000. I looked it up. Uh, but the lots are 0.23 acres. What that means is it's not even a quarter of an acre. Barely enough to put a house on. I mean, our lot here is like three quarters of an acre. It's like 0.74, which is about three quarters of an acre. So, take off two thirds of this and that it would be about, for $3,000 you can get a lot about the size of this front yard right here. It'd be like from this side of the driveway, right here, over to where you see the ferns. And about maybe to where I'm standing, that would be about 0.23 acre. Uh, not much for three grand, and that's in wooded area. Also, it is deed restricted. Now, for those of you that don't know what that means, that means the HOA, which is Homeowners Association, they will govern what you build there, how you build it, what you do on the property after you buy it, things like that. It's kind of like a gated community only without the gate. You know, like uh, a lot of places like that don't even want you working on a car in your driveway if you're just doing a set of brakes. I don't, you know, they won't let you put a tent up in the backyard because they say it looks tacky. Because uh, her, her mom and dad, they live in a gated community, which is deed restricted. Um, they had a camper. I did a video on looking for the leak on that camper. They had sold it, but they couldn't park it there. They weren't allowed to have a camper sitting in their driveway, no matter even if it's brand new. So they govern everything you do, what you build, and all that stuff. So, guy just had two, two jet skis with like an inch of dust on them. Must have been a barn find. But anyway, so that's what I found out about it. So, and on the other side where the houses are built, there are some houses for sale in there, close to three hundred thousand dollars. You know, on like. 0.48 acre, 0.43 acres, not quite a half an acre, so still not as big as this lot. So, there you go. <laughs> not that we're looking for any land to buy, I just thought, you know, yeah, you can buy a piece of land cheap, but like for three grand to buy a, a place like that to put a little camper, you know, or just tent out in, couldn't do it there. They wouldn't let me do it. They found out I was camping there on the weekends or whatever. They'd shut me down and I'd be stuck with a $3,000 piece of property, you know. Nope, ain't gonna do that. 
but a year or two ago in Cedar Key, we went to Cedar Key for the day. Spent the day there. We took a boat trip. We filmed all that. There could have been, uh, they had uh, five acres for $5,000. $1,000 an acre. Now, I, didn't, I didn't get to see the land. I should have jumped on it because we was we went back like a week or two later and the sign was gone. So I don't know if it was marshland or what. It would have had to be for $1,000 an acre. Of course, it wasn't right on the water, but it was, you know, the water's like a mile away. But anyway, so that's what I found out. It is a housing development. It's not abandoned. It's just nobody's buying. And 90% of the, and I looked at several hundred lots, 90% of them was just listed like a, like five days ago or 10 days ago. I think the oldest one I seen was like 110 days ago that was listed. So now they're starting to try to push all these properties. And uh, there's signs where we're seeing those are some of the ones that are being sold online. So anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. But still, when you get back in a place like that, yeah, I don't know. Monkey's like, oh, I don't, you know, it don't bother me. I'm used to it. It's still, when you go into a place where there's all these roads, road signs, stop signs, and no houses, it's just weird to me. But anyway, thought I'd share that with you. So... I'm gonna try to find something to do so uh, all right guys keep an eye out for more videos don't forget to check out monkey 1000 and we'll chat at you guys soon shea bear the myth the man the legend golf for now thanks for joining me appreciate it bye bye guys take care